<laughs> and then the conversation turned until the sun went down and many fantasies were learned on that day I don't know where to go <laughs> You're boring, you just prefer a nice pepperoni pizza? Pepperoni's good. I, it, it, pepperoni changes the... How greasy the pizza is. It makes it super greasy. And therefore, I don't prefer pepperoni. Like, if I'm gonna do a meat, I would do a, I would do sausage. I don't want, I don't like my messy pizza. All right, so do I go this way? I guess so. You love the Human League? Me too. Well, I, I mean, only, I only know like two of their songs, but. The song I was just singing, I do like. Sire, I understand your concerns regarding the longevity of your most illustrious of armies given the present trouble. However, I assure you that the science that drives them is no longer merely experimental. With the Vestals in strategic positions around the city, as long as there are sufficient casualties and with the revolutionary rabble in revolt, I rather doubt there won't be. Your mechanical soldiers will have all the energy they require to crush this treasonous insurrection. So wait, are they powering the Vestals that I like get my energy from? with human casualties? Oh God. Why don't they, didn't they realize that you don't make an army of robots that uses bio mass as fuel? Didn't they play Horizon? Do, do, do. Citizens' trousers and citizens' clogs. Okay. Trousers and clogs. Trousers and clogs. I love this. This is this is an upgrade. Kinda. I guess I don't have to use it, but it's just like brown pants. Yeah, I'm not gonna use them. Brown pants! There. Sure. I'll use the citizens' clogs. Horizon wasn't out yet during this time period. Are you sure? I feel like it was. I feel like these people were playing PS5s and PS4s. All right, maybe if Horizon wasn't out, but Terminator was. Have you found how to unlock the lock chest? Somebody earlier was saying they're usually uh, side quests rewards. Piggies! 
we go, pepperoni. Fair enough. Yeah, Terminator was definitely out in this time period, wasn't it? So I thought. Did I already get the loot from that? I have to get the notes up there. Okay. Oh, here we go. So look, humans. Dieu soit loué. It is such a blessing to see you safe and sound. This belongs to you. Bless you, whoever you are. You have our eternal gratitude. <clears throat> I believe you've met Monsieur Julien Raymond from distant Saint-Domingue. He's one of the most eminent members of our organization. And you, mademoiselle, what should we call you? Stick or doodle cookie butter. My name is Aegis. Ah, yes. The Aegis. The mighty shield and scourge of Zeus. I wonder, earlier by the Pont Neuf, when you touched Monseigneur's ring, can you explain what happened? I had a vision. I saw things there. I saw Monsignor giving a sermon. What wickedness is this? This explains the moment when you froze. The ring called to me. It compelled me to reach out and take it. Come now. The moment I touched it, I was transported somewhere else. It was the same strange world that you were in, Monsignor. Hell, you mean? Or purgatory. And this isn't the only time you've experienced something like this, Nespa. That is correct. It also happened with two objects I found in Place Dauphine. And what happened there? That is where I found your Bible and your cross, Monsignor. How did you know they belonged to me? They demanded to be returned to you. You did not regain consciousness until I did so. This is madness. Let us not be so quick to judge, Monseigneur. I witnessed the moment when your cross was taken from you. Then I saw you being locked in that box. Eh bien voilà. It is just as I suspected. Here, Aegis, look at this. Over the course of my research, I unearthed this ancient document. I believe I have finally uncovered its meaning. It's a triangle with an identical inscription at each corner. Nimi. Memory. In mm, Nimi. Greek. Then in it's the center, meme. there is an open eye which symbolizes awakening. Do you understand? The images you saw, Aegis, were Monsignor de la Farre's own memories. Three echoes of the past tied to personal objects of his. Three Nimi's memories which some dark alchemy had taken from him. Without them, his mind would have remained lost, incomplete. He would never have regained consciousness. But by returning these three objects to him, Aegis, you were able to save his immortal soul. Tell me, Aegis, when you were at the clerk's office at the Chatelet, did you perhaps see a leather wallet near the abbot's documents? No, Monseigneur. Ah, that is unfortunate. Most unfortunate. Would you like me to go get it? Mon père. Plus tard, s'il vous plaît. I need a moment alone. I must read over my notes in light of what we have just discovered. I will kill you! Monsieur Raymond. What is the aim of this organization? We publish articles and exert our influence on those who are in a position to improve the lot of our unfortunate brethren. Our numbers grow by the day, and we have many illustrious members. 
such as the Comte de Mirabeau and the Marquis de Lafayette. But it was Monsieur Brissot and the Abbot that founded the group. Good old Brissot. Shouldn't he be here by now? Yes, mon père. He should have arrived hours ago. Our numbers Alas, grow by the day, he said. No sign of him. Yet, I everyone is dead in the streets. Has befallen him. What fate does the kingdom reserve for those with black skin? According to tradition, any enslaved person who sets foot on French soil is freed. This rule is most problematic in the eyes of planters in the colonies who would seek to maintain their precious labor force. This is why, for the past 12 years, no black people have been allowed to disembark in any of the kingdom's ports. Those who accompany their masters on the journey are imprisoned in the Admiralty's jails the moment they leave the ship. As for those who manage to evade the authorities, they live in fear of the raids carried out by the Marshalsea. Are you not subject to these laws, Monsieur Raymond? I am fortunate enough to have been born a subject of the king through my father, and also to have received an education and to be wealthy. Naturally, that makes all the difference. You are quite a long way from home, Monsieur Raymond. I haven't been back to Saint-Domingue in nearly five years. I left my most trusted men in charge of overseeing my indigo plantation. I came to France with the aim of having an audience with the king. I hoped to convince him to use his automats for agricultural work. I was of the belief that this was the best way to ease the suffering of our enslaved brethren. Makes sense. Alas, it was all for naught. I was only able to get an audience with the Minister of the Navy, and even that was granted reluctantly. Later, when the King convened the Estates General, my hopes were renewed. I saw it as an opportunity to make our voices heard. And then, mon dieu, what a disaster, Aegis. What a complete disaster. Leave it at that. Monseigneur? That other world where you were held prisoner. Do you still feel its effects? This other world, as you call it, Igis, is none other than hell itself. Gehenna. The place the Lord sends those who worship the beast. But hell didn't keep me. I remember, I remember Gehenna from uh, D and D. Myself, perhaps. One of the outer planes. What task did you entrust to the abbot? Hey, the abbot! Holy Office ordered me to keep an eye on the Comte de Cagliostro. This charlatan imagines himself to be the heir of Mesmer, Mesmer, the magnetizer, and seems to have ingratiated himself with the king. There have been disturbing reports about him that could lead to his excommunication. It is said that he can make the dead speak. Can you imagine? I asked the abbot to investigate the surroundings of Eugène de Vaucanson's workshop, where the Count had been seen coming and going for several weeks. I cannot disclose the details of what he discovered there, but it may well be related to the events that have plunged Paris into mourning. He can't discuss the details, but it probably has something to do with everything. Okay, fine. I bid you farewell, Monseigneur. Wait just a moment, s'il vous plaît. You are one of Cagliostro's creatures, are you not? I what am. What do you mean? When were you... When did you... Awaken? I do not understand, Monseigneur. Well, well, that is to say, you talk, you think, you seem to act with some sort of free will. This was not always the case, that much is clear. You must agree that not all automates are as sophisticated as yourself. I am attempting to unravel the mystery of your true nature. Tell me, what are your very first memories? That is a question I am unable to answer. How strange. In that case, you must surely be able to tell me who taught you what you know. What I know, Monseigneur? Hmm. How can I put it in a way that you'll understand? For example, you call me Monseigneur. How do you know that this is how one addresses a member of the clergy of my rank? I cannot explain it. I believe... Go on, Aegis. I believe that this knowledge is not mine. Well, I never. Did you hear that, Abbot? I caught every word, mon ami. 
Okay. What does that mean? Really techno noob. That's interesting. Alright, so where do they want me to go next? Is my main quest a different spot? Yep, back to Luxembourg. Dun, 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 dun. They'll tell you after the next boss, I know, right? Funny how that works. Yeah, they have the translations on the screen. Adverse whenever they speak French. Oh, you said, what does that mean? No, I mean what they were talking about, not, not the French words. No, no worries. Um, all right. So there we go. Correspondence. Will you tell me what this disaster is about? Your machines are killing everything in sight right under the windows, and the air is heavy with the cries of innocent people being slaughtered. Have you lost control of your inventions? Did the king force you to organize this bloodbath? I beg you, my friend, write to me immediately at my townhouse at the Quartal de saint All right, so then... Back to Luxembourg. Your schedule's kind of backwards. You're normally in bed by 11 a.m. Oh my god, you're way past bedtime. You know, it's perfect French. Thank you. Yeah, I've been up since 6.30 this morning, so I'm actually going to wrap things up there. I have a conference call later tonight, too, that I have to prepare for. Um, So, let's see. Next time, I guess we'll continue this tomorrow. I can't imagine if we keep mainlining the main story there would be too, too much left. I don't think it's a super long game. Monsieur oh, we got, a, got a cut You scene. are safe and sound. Safe and sound indeed. But with a broken soul. I have just returned from Place Dauphine. I understand, monsieur. The Guard National. I was too late. All these brave men cut down on a single attack. Why was I not among them? Alas, I am condemned to outlive them. And to witness an even greater calamity. What disaster do you fear, monsieur? It's a highly sensitive matter. I've been waiting in vain for a message of the utmost importance. Can you tell me more about it? Ma foi, at this point, I don't really have a choice. You can speak freely. Have no fear. Before the king's attack, I sent a squad of horsemen on a very important assignment. They were to collect a precious cargo at Gros Caillou, not far from the Hotel des Invalides. What sort of cargo? I'm sorry, Aegis, but I swore on my life to keep it a secret. All I can tell you is mm. that it would give us a decisive advantage. But I haven't heard from my men. I'm worried that the exchange may have met with misfortune. It is paramount that I learn what happened and who has the cargo now. The future of the kingdom depends on it. I will get Since your cargo. It's so important, I will go there myself and attempt to solve this mystery. All right. All right, so we'll follow the flag next time. Did they teleport me somewhere? No, it's still here. I gotta keep looking up now, now that I can repel. Rapunzel! Hello. I don't know if this is 
the right way. Still sizzling. How do I get to there? There we go. Crappling hook makes the game much more fun. Not as restricted. Alright, so here is a safe place. Oh, I keep thinking this is a safe place. I got bamboozled. Bamboozled! What's up, Fizz? want me to go somehow over this building. I guess we gotta come through here. This way. open this. Aha! Trapped. Ah, you're back. Do you bring me glad tidings? No. The abbot is safe and sound. He is at the Société des Amis des Noirs with Monsieur Raymond and the Bishop of Nancy. Very well. Very well. May Providence allow them to reach us safely. Though I despise war, we must rally the people for battle as soon as possible. A reliable source tells me the arsenal at Les Invalides is overflowing with weapons, but a royal automat guards it. I now have no doubt that you are capable of defeating such a creature. Of course. But are you prepared to go back into the fray? Yes, I am. Very well. Try to clear the way so we can access the Hotel des Invalides. Once you've done that, we'll take care of the rest. A handful of Patriots are already there. Their task was to open a passage to the east, through the Faubourg Saint-Germain. Very well. I will go and find them. Were you present when the Estates General was dissolved? Oui, madame. I had a front row seat. I witnessed what it cost. We laid bare before the... So he had... At least we only had positively... I've already heard Goodbye, that. Goodbye, Monsieur de Rob... All right. Sounds like we, uh... We're getting close to, like, a final battle if they're getting all the troops, you know? Eh bien, Aegis. Did you make sure my men managed to collect the cargo? No. I haven't gone there yet. Et alors? What are you waiting for? This is a matter of the utmost importance. Sorry. The exchange was to take place near the Église du Gros Caillou, the town next to Les Invalides. Is that a side quest? No, they both lead us over there. All right, so we have to go to a new zone. All right, we'll do that next time. Uh, Probably tomorrow. I do have allergy shots in the morning, but I should be able to get online normal time. Um, 
thanks so much for watching today. I hope you guys